Greetings YouTube, this is the True Bar One speaking. And today I wanna I want to finally respond to to that to that Dr. Drew to that Dr. Drew episode which had Crazy Bra and that and that lit chick who was um I guess hating on Kim Kardashian. <clears throat> oh whatever. I seen I already seen tons of other people uh let's make a response make a response to that show. And I guess I and I guess I just um put my little put my little input in. And really the first thing I wanna know is how the fuck did that crazy ass nigga get on the show in the first place? Cause I remember the first the first time I saw a cover, I was like, damn, how did he get on how did he get up there? Cause I was I was I was surprised to see that shit. I'm thinking like what are the produ were the producers just looking up YouTube videos and I don't decide to call decide to contact him contact him and call him up on the show. Cause damn, I was I'm, I was I was surprised by that. And uh, I'm not even familiar with the show. Um, or who or who really Dr. Drew what Dr. Drew is about? Cause, cause really I don't watch I really don't watch that much television. And, and but from what I hear, this dude, this guy, supposed to be a he's a psychiatrist, and apparently he had, he had other shows. Like I hear he had what there's some show on MTV, which I think I. Which now thinking about it, I I think I I heard of before, but I but but like I guess, but once again, I already don't watch TV, least least of all MTV. So, uh, so it didn't really strike a chord, chord it didn't strike a chord with me. And from my, from what I hear, this is like this is like this guy's second or third show. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah. <clears throat> Well, well, I believe the the topic of the episode was interracial dating, and well, I didn't, I didn't, I, never, I didn't actually see the actual show. Only, the only, only saw the clips. The only parts of the show I saw were the ones on YouTube, and so, I, so, I so I don't know. I could be missing something, but from what I've seen on what I've seen from the clips and shit on floating on YouTube. Uh, that show, that show looked just looked like a, it looked like a circus to me. It looked like a crazy house. I mean, from what I saw, it just seemed like a bunch of incoherent blabbering of of people talking over each other. Which not really surprised because from, from what I seen, it looked like the audience was like ninety nine percent black females. Which is always a bad sign. God knows, like whenever they, ha whenever any talk show has like, um, it's talking about some gender issues in the black community. I, I know that from what I say, I know that it's almost the majority of the audience is almost always black women, with a few, with a few black men sprinkled sprinkled in the audience. But it's usually like these shows usually look like like an army of black women against. Two or three, two or three black guys on stage. So yeah, that that's like a that's like that's like a set. These shows are like a setup for black men. And but anyway, they had they had that um that the black the black woman who was I think most I guess she's most popular for being on um, Kim Kardashian show as the hate as the hater. Oh, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but um, she was there in a clip. I guess I don't know. Was it towards the end of the show? I don't know. But in the clip, um, she was like a issuing a a general apology to Crazy Bra on the on the behalf of black women as a whole. I guess. Honestly, I really didn't know what the fuck was going on, cause again, I didn't, I didn't watch the show. I'm only watching the clips. So from the clips I, from the clips I saw, 
it just seemed the show just seemed crazy as hell and in, 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 in incoherent. But to make a short, make a long story short, she she walks to him, she asks, she asks for a hug, they from crazy bro, they embrace, and he ends up he ends up um patting her on, patting her on the ass and shit, and then she basically then the chick she basically um get kind of wilds out saying wilds out saying that uh oh yeah this is, saying this is the reason why uh there's so much. Disconnect between black men and black women because black men don't respect, always disrespect black women. They disrespect black women for centuries. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. And of course, the ninety nine percent black female audience ate that up. And of course, they, and then uh, now, of course, now 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 her complaints look look legit. And I will say, I won't say what Chris Brother did was wrong. Was wrong. Was wrong move. So I yo, of course, it's, it's never right to touch with a woman's body without her permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't really don't know what to make of this, make of this show because I don't know. Because the chick, the chick from Kim Kardashian, who was on there talking about Kim Kardashian, I heard that she's, an, I heard that she's an actor, an actress, a aspiring actress, whatever. Plus, I also heard some stuff that um, Crazy Bro said that he was trying to get into acting. So now I'm thinking. And I, so, so, and other people have alluded to the fact that the, that the whole that the whole damn thing might have been might have been just staged. Cause first it seems like first it seems like oh he he might he that he that maybe he was set up on behalf of her and the show. But that was like oh the whole thing the whole the whole show was fake fake from the jump. I I really don't know what the fuck what the fuck it, it's all about. And truly, I really don't care. Because the main the main underlying issue of all this is that the you know the so called black gender war is now becoming mainstream. I've heard several YouTubers uh um uh, make the complaint that we're that we're putting our issues on the forefront for everybody else to dissect. Like how we should we shouldn't we shouldn't bring our issues out to the open. We should have it by ourselves. We should. Uh, we shouldn't put on a show for the people. We shouldn't. We should not air our dirty laundry. And I'm like, man, fuck all that. Cause to me, I'm like, if black people could handle our problems in private, then we would have done so already. I mean, people say people bring up that oh we shouldn't air our dirty laundry. But I'm like, well, shit, we have no choice but to air our dirty laundry. I mean, we really have no choice now. And for the past four or five decades, we've been letting our dirty laundry pile up inside inside of our house. Like, there's no more there's no more room in the house to put the dirty laundry at. We we can barely move, so now the la the dirty laundry is spilling old is spilling outside the house, into the streets. I mean, when there's when there's no more room inside the house, the dirty laundry is gonna have to go outside, and then everybody's gonna see it, regardless of whether we want to or not. It's like black people are so focused on. Making sure that nobody sees our dirty laundry, that we don't, that we never actually clean the laundry, cause we're so we're so busy trying to keep it hidden. Just clean the laundry, and then you won't have to worry about anybody else seeing it. See, I know, I know some, I know some black people are mad that that um our. That our this that our dysfunction is being is given is being given media attention, and I understand that. But at this point, I'm like, man, man, just 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 bring it on, because maybe because maybe maybe when we get embarrassed enough, that would motivate us to change. 
when your dirty laundry is, is all over the streets now, and in your neighbors and passerbys and just and strangers say, "Hey, man, you really need to do your laundry," then maybe that will convince us to finally do the laundry because now other people are saying it. Like you know, cause sometimes you know how sometimes how maybe how you how your friends your family and friends can tell you one thing and it doesn't really it doesn't really sink into your head yet somebody who yet a, yet somebody who's a complete stranger tells you the same thing and then you like damn well maybe there's something maybe there's something to what 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 the what my family and friends have been saying all along if this person who I, who I don't really know that well is saying the same thing he and he sees it he or she sees it then maybe Maybe it's not, it's not in my my friends and family's heads at all. Maybe there really is something there. Because sometimes you have to hit rock bottom before you wake the fuck up and realize you need to make a change. Sure, I'm not mad at the show, and I'm not, and I wouldn't be mad at it if more shows did did the same thing. <laughs> Because maybe we just need to get embarrassed in front of other people in order in order in order to finally address these issues. Um so fuck, I ain't really mad about it. And that's all I really gotta say about it. So peace out.